Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new series about Labu Plus Arduino Programming Plus Visa. Okay, in this series, first we can learn about Arduino Programming step by step. After that, download Program on hardware, then interlink with Labu help of Visa. It's very important. Okay, you can do any project in Arduino Programming ID because someone is a very uh, expert in Arduino Programming. Okay, help uh, and uh, help of this, we can easy to interlink with Labu also. Okay, you can learn uh, Arduino Programming also in this series. Okay, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, you need a hardware, and uh, you see, you need a hardware that is Arduino Uno. Okay, you see, and have a one LED. Okay. This is one LED and one pin connect to the pin number 12 and second one is connect to the ground. Okay. Now you see. Okay. Okay. You need an Arduino Uno. Okay. And one LED. Okay. In this tutorial. Okay. This is, this is the first tutorial about this. Okay. Now first let's come on the programming. Okay. This is your Arduino ID. I am using version 1.8.4. Okay, you can use latest version also if you are interlink with Visa. Okay, if you are interlink Arduino with LabVIEW help of Visa, you can use latest version also. Okay, okay, let's start step by step. First, int int means integer. Okay, now uh, I'm add any variable like I'm enter here my name because okay you not confused in this tutorial. Okay, Pradeep equal I'm entering here 12. Why I'm entering here 12? Because 12, I'm using 12 number pin of Arduino. Okay, that's why I'm entering here 12. And 12 is stored in Pradeep. Pradeep is a variable. Okay, you can use your name also. Okay, and int is an int integer data. Okay, int is data. Pradeep is a variable. And variable in this variable store 12 value. Okay, done. Now I'm creating. Okay, now I'm creating a second uh, variable also. Okay, char character and I am entering here lab view. This is our, our variable. You can choose any name, enter any name. Okay, lab view. I am entering here zero. Okay, now I will tell you a uh, little about why I am entering here zero. But in this time, zero store in lab view. Okay, lab view is a character. Okay, this is our data type. Okay, and Pradeep is our integer data type. Okay, all done. Now let's come on the void uh, setup void setup like this okay and one is void loop okay that's very important now i'm telling about it what is this okay, okay. now you see this is void setup means if you have a input like a input switch sensor have a lots of things you need to declare at once okay in this software okay that thing you uh declare in this uh, loop void setup okay and once time Okay, when your program is running, that's first it sends this and after that's come on the world loop. Okay, this is for continuity operation. Okay, that's why we, uh, we need to enter any like if I have a one LED, then we can declare here. Okay, after that's come on the loop condition. Okay, for continuity operation. Okay, this is very important word setup for once time. Need, uh, you need to declare your input or output and this setup. Okay, and a serial, uh, serial boarded also. Okay, and second is a void loop, void loop for your uh, for your continuity operation. Okay, now let's start up the void setup first. I am entering here serial serial dot begin. Sorry, begin, and I am entering nine six double zero. What is this? This is a border of Arduino Uno. I think you already know. I already made a video about the LabVIEW interlink with uh, sorry arduino interlink with labu okay in there i am using 9600 okay that is a board rate of arduino you know if you are using mega then you have a different board rate like 115200 okay okay now why i am using this because help of this we can control our serial monitor from labu okay otherwise uh, we can use uh, from this software also have a serial monitor okay okay first we create a programming after it's come on testing on serial monitor arduino then love you okay serial begin now what do you do we need to declare our one led 
okay means i have already used one led okay and then we need to set up or we can declare once in word setup now what you do have a parameter that is pin mod okay now i am enter here pradeep why i am enter here pradeep because 12 12 data store in pradeep okay that's why i am take pradeep only okay pradeep comma and our led is output okay now i am enter comment led out put led is our output not input okay that's why i am enter here out put if you have a sensor then you can use input also okay okay this is a first tutorial a step by step we can learn everything in this series okay pin mode pradeep output okay if, uh, we declare here that is a void setup i declare pin uh, our pin number 12 is our output okay now let's come on the void loop it's very very important okay <clears throat> let's start if 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 serial if serial dot available sorry yes e r i a l dot available a b a i l a b l e okay available if serial monitor is available or we can say serial available value is greater than zero then then what i am enter here i already enter here one uh, data that is uh, live view okay, okay now i am enter here live view equal to serial dot read what do you mean of this you see if your serial port is available and value is greater than zero then your serial dot read if you are enter any in your serial monitor you if you are uh, enter any value like one two three four that's value store in live view okay that's why i'm enter here live view equal to serial dot read okay uh, in the starting i'm that's why i'm enter here in the starting zero because by default have a, uh, every uh, lots of uh, value by default that's why i'm enter here in the starting zero then if serial monitor is available then uh, someone enter in the serial monitor or uh, then read the data and store in live view okay that's all done now let's start a logic okay that's if 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 live view equal equal one okay if live view equal equal one then your this condition is operate okay i am entering second condition also if sorry if live view equal equal two okay then your this condition is operate okay now you see if your live view if serial monitor if someone enter a value like one then uh that that's value store in live view and it start comparison if your live view value is equal equal one then your this condition is running now in this condition i'm enter here our digital uh pin that is our led uh those connect to the pin number 12 and that's we need to turn on okay how parameter is digital diz digital right okay start and i'm enter here pardeep pardeep comma hi okay you see digital right is a parameter okay digital pin right means we need to operate pardeep means i'm enter here pardeep means pin uh, pin number is 12 i'm enter pardeep comma hi means your led is on in that condition if your serial monitor give one value okay then your led is on if your serial monitor give two value it's uh, equal to live view two then your led is turn off now i meant here digital right comma pardeep comma low now you see okay digital right pardeep low means your led is turn off if Sir monitor give one then your led on if sir monitor give two then your led is off that's all okay now it's all done click to verify for uh, checking your program have error or not okay now let's see okay now you see it's complete have no error
okay you see they have a no error okay now we need to upload and you see in Arduino you know uh, okay have a, some problem what do you do remove your Arduino you know okay now again reconnect okay and click to tools okay, now choose your uh, hardware Arduino you know okay again tools uh, select your com port okay now again upload it okay now you see Your program is uploading the Arduino you know and you see it's done upload it done okay all done okay all done now okay now let's come on your uh, lab view okay. right click on the block, block diagram and uh, you see have an instrument IO pin this okay click to visa uh, click to advance and you need to open visa okay this is open and need to close okay back and you see write and read okay this is very important okay if you have a lots of sensor like uh, analog sensor digital sensor and you need you need to read a value then you use read okay if you have a push button and have a output then you need to operate help of live view then you can use right okay now i am using i have a led that's we operate from live view that's why i'm using right okay click and drag here okay select all control space control w okay all done okay now select again uh, sorry for this right click here and visible item click to label okay all done and you see visa resource name right click here and create a control okay this is your com port you need to attach here okay now you see have a write and uh, this is return count okay now write oh, what do you do you need to enter a value means you need to enter a serial value those i already entered in arduino you know you see that is serial read okay you need to enter a value if one then your led on if two then led is off okay now how we can do this okay first right click here come to structure y loop create a y loop right click here and create a control okay this is stop okay now right click here come to silver sorry come to silver boolean and uh, choose any push button as per your comment okay this is your switch okay now right click here comparison and click to select okay and click to operate this one why i'm choose this one wait uh, click to string and drag string constant connect here uh, sorry for this okay click this and connect to this terminal okay same here copy and connect to this terminal okay and you see this is the right buffer means you uh, need enter a serial value here okay then what you do click here and connect to this terminal okay this is string that's why i'm enter here a oh, string value okay i'm enter here one i'm i'm enter here two okay why i'm enter one and two because in the arduino programming i already told about if your live view serial monitor give one value then your uh, then your light is high otherwise if live you give uh, sorry if serial monitor give value two then your led is off okay that's why i'm enter here one and two okay well done if your switching is off condition that time your two is uh, going to your serial monitor okay with the help of visa right then your LED is off. If you press switch, then you one value is going to visa right. That's time your still monitor give value one and your LED is turn on. Okay. First of all, what you do? First, uh, if for verification your code is running or not, then you uh, you see have a serial monitor. First, open this. Okay, and you need to enter value. Okay, and you see in the hardware. Wait, and you see in your hardware. If I enter here one and I am click to enter and you see they have no uh, operation why 
let's see first time click zero then enter zero enter okay you see uh, your board rate is one one five two double zero you need to change that is I don't know you know is nine six double zero okay you see nine six double zero now you enter if I enter a one and click to enter you see your LED is turn on okay your LED is turn on right now if I enter here zero then you see your uh, sorry uh, for two if I enter two and your LED is turn on sorry turn off okay now uh, let's do again if I enter one your LED is on if I enter two your LED is on it's working okay well okay after doing this test means your hardware your programming is well okay then come on the your lab view okay okay now uh, let's start okay uh, everything is good now what do you do right click and create an indicator okay okay all done increase their size okay and uh, I'm create a indicator also uh, silver boolean and create a LED increase the size okay this is your LED and how you can connect this your LED <coughs> with the logic and that's logic is like this come to comparison drag equal okay and click to this and you enter a value uh, like a constant I'm entering one if this value is equal equal one then your uh, live LED also turn on okay okay now connect to this terminal okay all done now okay uh, now let's run a program first you need to select your com port that is com number seven okay now uh, click to run okay uh, sorry you need to uh, select a timing also that is wait right click here and create constant I'm entering 300 uh, 100, that is millisecond now again click to run okay all done uh, when I uh, turn off switch and you see our LED is turn off okay again I am turn on our switch and when you turn your switch then value 1 is going to your cell monitor and turn your LED okay you see in live view as well as your hardware if I turn off switch then your LED is turn off okay you see you see have a little delay if you change like if I enter here 100 that is uh, at a time operate you see when I turn on you see okay it's uh, well working okay okay guys thank you so much if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys in the next tutorial we can do uh, something new okay because in this series we can learn arduino programming also side by side okay thank you so much guys